Today we're going to check out the Mesa Head Track. This pedal is super rad. Uh, it looks super confusing with all the little verbiage and inputs and all that crap. It's life changing from an aspect if you need to run two heads into one cab. Different effects loops for each amp. You can use a general effects loop. It's awesome. If you want to use it live or in the studio, it makes it super easy to do comparisons, dial in similar tones on amps, run totally different tones across multiple amps into one setup. And the coolest thing is it runs multiple heads into a cab. Two heads, one cab. Amazing. You can seamlessly switch the amps from clean to dirty while playing the other amp, and there's no issues. It's amazing. So I can't say enough cool things about it. It's kind of pricey. Comes in at $3.99 in the US, but it's totally worth it if you need something like this. So I hope you enjoy the demo. Let's check out the unbox, then we'll go to the demo part. All right, exciting day. The unboxing of the Mesa Head Track. I obviously got this one from Sweetwater. So you get your Sweetwater thank you which probably has my receipt in it. Your candy, because you know, what would Sweetwater be without candy? And the Mesa pedal. So we got the head track. Thought this could really help out with some uh, amp demos. There we go. Comes with feet. You know, actually this box is reminiscent of uh, how Strymon packs theirs. Got your feet. Here is the uh, the pedal. Yeah, sturdy, sturdy chassis. But yeah, this is if you want to connect two guitar amps to one cabinet. So you got loads of options. You can use the effects loops, and uh, yeah, totally handy. Check what else, else is in the box. Here's the pedal warranty, which that's a cool little thing. Kind of looks like a mad professor type. So, and owner's manual, which of course it's Mesa, so I'm sure it's chock full of actual information. Wow, it's big. This is what you get for buying a Mesa pedal. <laughs> and it does not come with a power supply or any other cables or anything. So I plugged in my Marshall DSL 20 HR head and my mini Silver Jubilee, and they're actually in different places in the room, but my pedals are centrally located right in front of me. So we're gonna use this Les Paul Classic, and I'm just gonna briefly switch between the two amps with different tones with the Mesa head track. So you can hear there is no, there's no popping. There's no signal interruption. I can use the clean of one amp into the dirty of the other with no problems getting through. I'm gonna have some reverb on the DSL so you can hear the differences right away. So you'll know if there's reverb on the amp, I am playing the DSL. If there's no reverb, it's the mini Silver Jubilee. So uh, let's give this a go. Thank you. 
So your guitar input actually goes in this first input right here. So your A amp is here and your B amp is here. Now I didn't use any of the effects loops, but this is what these six inputs are here. You have your power, which you can run off just a one spot. So you can use a remote switch for it. It's a little Mesa, it's about that big. Um, I, I don't have one, I don't have a use for that yet, but what you can do is put that in your rack or on your pedal board and keep this with your amps. And your speaker load goes in this one. Your speaker load is the cabinet itself. So your cab goes to here, and then you put your B out from your amp to here, and your A out to here. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, so what you just heard is this little guy, super quiet switching, no issues. I didn't use the effects loop at all. It was just to kind of AB uh, the different amps. If you're in the market for this, Highly recommended. Again, it's $3.99, but I think it's totally worth it. As always, thanks for watching. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.